So guys, we're gonna be opening up 36 sleeve boosters. Basically, we're gonna see if we can beat our booster box pools from the other day. Um, if you guys didn't see, these are the pools we've made in our booster box. Two beautiful Stellars, two beautiful IRs, two beautiful A Specs, a not so beautiful full art, and a beautiful SIR Hydrapple EX, which once again, still so cool that my very first booster box of Stellar Miracle and Stellar Crown had the same card. Um, really love having that. Definitely going to make me bond with that Pokemon even more. But we're going to open up 36 booster packs of Stellar Crown. Um, these are sleeve boosters from a sealed case. The rest of the sealed case will be available for the stream. That is three booster boxes worth of sealed cases. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into our first booster pack. Let's see if we can get something good. Unfortunately, first booster pack is a dud. Now, if you guys don't know, these products, sleeve boosters, they're luck. It is super luck based. Either you're going to pull absolute insanity or you're, oh, please, 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 please be the gold stadium. Please be the gold stadium. Bravery Charm is nice because it will have some nice resale value. But please, please, please be the Gold Stadium. Let's see. Oh, shit. It's Terrapagos. And he is upside down. Don't know why he's upside down. But I will take it. Terrapagos EX. Just recently uh, pulled one with Pokey Pelly on stream Japanese. So I already own this card. Beautiful card nonetheless. A gold is very nice. So we will take it. Man, I was really hoping for the stadium because being upside down, right? You don't see the basic that's in the corner. So I really thought we either had the stadium or bravery charm and I was really hoping for the stadium. But Terrapagos decided to be a funny turtle and be upside down. And then my heart sank a little bit when I seen the turtle. It did. Because that is third turtle. Third turtle, guys. Third turtle. I have pulled two gold turtles out of five Japanese boxes. Or four. I don't remember if I opened up four or five. But I pulled three gold turtles from it. Or two gold turtles from Japanese. So that is gold turtle number three. Electivire. And clean thing. All right. Balooza. Pressure Am. And Crudilly. All right, so sleeve boosters are starting off pretty uh, cold. I mean, I know I say that as we got a gold Tropico sitting in the background, but I think we're, what, six packs in with only one hit? But the thing with sleeve boosters is, once again, they're very luck-based. We can go 12 straight packs with no hits, and then we'll get the next six all big hits back-to-back. -back. Like, they're not like a booster box where it's kind of like mixed around or anything like that. They can absolutely be like this. Ooh, is that the stadium? Is that the stadium? God damn, what is the deal with this turtle? <laughs> what the fuck is the deal with this turtle? You know what though? I won't mind it if the sleeve case every like four packs was a turtle. Like I'll take gold turtles if it's gonna be that string. Like if there was a factory era where the sleeve case is overly abundant with gold turtles, I'll take it. But man, every time I want that freaking gold stadium. Uh, I think Rayaquaza, or Rayaquaza, on Twitter pulled it, and after ever since I seen it that day, I've been wanting that card. Something about that gold stadium is just so pretty. So with that being said, I'm gonna slide these up. I'm gonna put those there. That's insane. Two gold turtles being the first two hits, and they're upside down, which is even stranger. Like they were both upside down, so it wasn't like a one-off factory error. It's like the gold somehow ended up all upside down. So 
a Landit, and Caracosta. By the way, I grabbed these from a case and I just grab them in order. So that way I don't like accidentally take all the big hits from all around the box. Because once again, I'm using the rest of the packs for a booster break. So uh, that's why you see the same artworks over and over. Because uh, I found from experience that putting the packs mixed up I've had instances where uh, one person ended up with like all the big hits and then the rest of the packs were dead packs. So it's e it's better for me to pull them in order just to make it fair for everybody who joins in the break. Oh shit. So wait, hold on, hold on. There we go though, baby. There we go. Look how stunning this card is. I'm curious. I wonder. I. It's like every three packs. I wonder if we have a glitch case. Because that is the that is the uh, third gold card in like 12 packs. And they're upside down. So I am curious if we have a like a factory error case where we're getting gold cards um, every few packs. Now, here's the thing. The gold card does take the place of SIRs. So... I'm hoping that it doesn't mean that we can't get SIRs, but that is an interesting occurrence. I am happy though that we got a uh, we got one of our chases down. I will take Area Zero Under Depths any day of the week. Beautiful card. Now, if we get a gold, I don't mind Bravery Charm because I got my chase, and I don't mind a um, Turtle Number Five. But I am happy to keep just those two turtles because now I have my Turtle Squad, the four Ninja Turtles. Curtain Eater and Kling Kling. By the way, I did want to point out that we've already matched booster box ratios on texture cards because we've gotten three golds and we've gotten one full art Dashman. And I know I didn't spend a lot of time talking about Dashman. And I apologize for any Dashman fans out there. I'm trying not to make this video overly long because we are ripping each sleeve booster one at a time. Uh, because I want to make I want to make it obvious that these came from sleeves and not from something else. Holy shit! Did we just pull something else? Let's see. A dash bunny X. Okay, I will take it. All right, so we're definitely um, we're definitely killing it in terms of ratios right now, and as long as we keep up this luck, we'll be uh, we'll be fuego. Alright, so let me move uh, the stack of bulk out of the way. Let's throw uh, energies out of the way into the recycle bin. And we still got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, like 21, 22 packs. So we're not even halfway done with the box. Got some beautiful common artworks. Palmy looks great. The Lazzle Dazzle, Drift Blim, Gradilly. And Iron Boulder. All right, so maybe we did. Maybe we just ha got really lucky and didn't have a glitch case. Three golds in the first like twelve packs is insane, though. So let's see. Okay. So now that we hit area zero, Lacy and Briar SIR. And the Squirtle, Bulbazar, and uh, Reboot are my chases. Let's hope that we can get at least one of those with the rest of these packs. If you haven't opened up Stellar Crown yet, or if you have, let me know in the comments below. What is your chase for Stellar Crown? Do you have a chase? Are you going to buy singles? Are you going to be ripping up packs? Is your chase an upside down turtle now that you've seen two of them? Ooh, a Joltik. Nice. I will take Joltik. I don't know if I have Joltik in my collection, but I will take it. It is a beautiful card. Joltik is probably one of the better 
uh, arts in the set. I know there's a lot to compare to, so not everybody's going to think so, but I really, really like Joltik. And I love the fact that both Joltik and Galvantula got special treatment in the set. Joltik and Galvantula have both been pulled by me. Galvantula was pulled out of a Latios, or not a Latios, Latios three pack blister. So that is a nice set of uh, duo that is going to go into the personal collection binder. All right, so we've started off strong. We're kind of on a cold streak now. Let's see if we can uh, regain that cold streak. Nope, nothing there. We got three, six, nine, 12, 14 packs left. We have hit, just to count them, seven hits with three golds and one full art trainer. So out of these 14 packs, to beat the number of hits, we need six more hits. Now, who, which uh, side had the better quality hits? That is up to you guys to decide. We got Venus REX. That will take it. We've already pulled a uh, uh, Blastoise. So Venusaur is another good one. All right, back. Fighting with me there. Ooh, we got an ace back. That's nice. Hopefully it's one of the ones we haven't seen. We've seen Sparkling, Crystal, and the Tree. I think the Tree is the most playable one, so I wouldn't mind seeing the Tree again. Did not want to see Sparkling Crystal again. But you know what? I'll take it. It's another textured hit. That means uh, we beat the booster box ratios on textured cards. So that's uh, that's at least somewhat better. Looks like we might have something back there. If not, then that hollow rare just tricked me because it is really shining like it's something else and not a hollow rare. Oh, it was a Cinderace. Nice. So we're definitely pulling all the different Terras as well as we open up these products. Um, I think the only one I'm missing... No. Is there another Terra besides D3? Cinderace, Lapras, Terrapagos. I think there's a fourth one. I'm trying to remember who it is. Might not be in this set. And I might just be thinking about another set that is coming up. But I think there's four in this set. Area Zero. Luminion. Dianchi, come on, Illustration Rare. Bling Clang, and a Buffalon. All right, so three, six, nine, ten more packs remaining. Let's see. Come on, pack number ten. All right. So these are the Lapras pack arts. Lapras is a beautiful card. Would love to get the full art Lapras in this set. If not the full art Lapras. Oh, and there, there's no gold Lapras. Gold Lapras got revealed for uh, the upcoming UPC as a promo. So did gold Cinderace. Both of those cards, as well as the rainbow Tropagos, are the full art Tropagos, are promos in the upcoming UPC featuring Tropagos. So, okay, Lapras, you got seven packs left, Lapras. I need you to give me something big. Give me another IR. That's the one thing I can say at least about the um, booster boxes is sleeve boosters. It is very, very luck dependent on if you hit an illustration rare. Lucario EX. With booster boxes, they're pretty much guaranteed at least two in a booster box. You can open up 36 packs of uh, sleeves. You can get one, you can get zero, and it's it literally is random. So once again, you're comparing like a set, an, I'm gonna say a semi set ratio versus pure randomness when you're buying 36 sleeve boosters versus a sealed booster box. But 
the 36 sleeve boosters can do something like this. Give us a banger with the Turtonator, the Shy Boy. Seems like he's going over to his neighbors. Mom sent him over to ask for a cup of sugar. And he's a little bit too shy to ask for that cup of sugar. I don't know if I own that card. And if I don't, that is 100% a card to go in the binder. Best Turtonator art we have gotten that is not the Akira Agawa art. Actually, I think my two favorite Turtonator cards both come from the set. Because the Akira Agawa Turtonator is in the set. And so is the Illustration Rare, the Shy Boy. Letchling. Grim Snarl. And then Cinder Ace Rainbow. I say rainbow because it's the rainbow border. Like, look how rainbow it is. Like, it's super rainbow. Beautiful card. I have grown over recent memory to really appreciate rainbows for what they were. I wasn't always a fan of every rainbow design, especially because most of the rainbows still use the five band graphics or the Planeta or uh, what was the other company? There was one other company that uh, did uh, like your 3D images that was just kind of like generic and basic. And I just never, I just never liked them. Right. So that's just a personal opinion. Uh, I know not everybody's going to agree with that, but that's just my own personal take. All right. So with that being said, we got three booster packs remaining. Let's see if we can get something good. Come on, big hit. Got a Lacey, but not the one I'm looking for. All right, two packs remaining. Let's go. We'll slow roll these babies. Legender. Ooh, do we got something back there? I really hope so. Meta Cham. Reboot. Not the reboot I'm looking for. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I guess. Fuck. <laughs> I really, really hate that Pokemon. You know why he showed up? Because I mentioned that I hated I hate him. And when I said that I hated Northworm, he showed up. He showed up and he showed out. And I am heartbroken at that card. So here's our last pack. Out of 36 sleeve booster packs, we're going to see if we can get one more fire hit. And then we'll see where we're at after that. Lady Ball. Archalodon. And a Zara Aura. So, no SIR in these 36 packs. But we got 3, 6, 9, 12, 14 textured hits with 1, 2, or no, 14 hits with 2 illustration rares, Turtonator and Joltik. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 regular EXs, and then all of these beautiful textured hits. Well above booster box ratios. So if I had to choose a winner, I would say sleeve boosters beat the booster box even though the booster box had an sar i will say the two golds are the three golds the rainbow and the two full arts with one a spec was a little bit better than the other ratios but given a review on sleeve boosters especially if you're buying 36 i will say just from the outright that sleeve boosters are 100 a gamble sleeve boosters are not something that is guaranteed at any point in time once again, you can have luck like I did and have a good run. Or you can have bad luck and not pull anything great. You could have, I, I could have pulled five Orthworm full arts and that'd have been my only hit. <coughs> so it is completely random and it is up for you to determine whether or not you think it's worth it. Personally, when it comes to sleeve boosters, I'm a gambler, man. I prefer sleeves over booster boxes. So the sleeve boosters, I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10. Not only are they great if you want to buy an individual booster pack, because these are the type of booster packs you'll find on the store shelves at like Walmart or your local grocery store. But you can also find them at LGSs. LGSs carry sleeve boosters as well. But they're also able to be bought in the case 
of uh, 144 packs. You can buy a sealed case. You can also buy them in bundles of 36 from different sellers online. And it allows you to just kind of gamble and have a little bit more fun with the product opening. With booster boxes, you know kind of where you're set at. You kind of know where you're going to be stuck at with your pools. With a sleeve, with a sleeve booster or like a group of sleeve boosters, you don't necessarily know that. It's like opening up three pack blisters or ETBs. You don't know exactly where you're going. Uh, with a booster box, you get more of an idea with something such as a loose 36 sleeve booster packs. It's a little bit more random and it could be insane. Like the fact that we pulled two golds in our first like six packs, that is crazy, right? You don't get that from a booster box. And that's what I enjoy about it. We get to have a little bit more fun just ripping up packs when we open up sleeve boosters. And that's just a personal take. Once again, if you want more consistency with your opening, if you want to know that you're going to get some stuff from your packs, booster boxes are the better option for you. But if you want to take a gamble and try to get way more than a booster box or risk maybe getting a little bit less than a booster box, sleeve boosters are the way to go. And they're my preferred method of opening up Pokemon packs. With that being said, guys, that's it for today's video. I know this one was a little bit longer, but that's because the sleeve booster packs do take a little bit longer to open up. With that being said, let me know down in the comment section below what's your favorite pool from this video was one lucky person who comments will win that earthworm ex full art card i will reply to your comment and let you know that you are the winner as always guys remember to keep it classy and stay awesome